Let's really find out how much of a piece of shiz Kevin Federline actually is. Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph the Alter Nerd. Your Nerdy Alternative and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd where I break down the news and pop culture stories of the day that's pretty much caught me eye. And oh my god. Goodness, the 60-minute Australia interview with Kevin Federline is going to be shown in full this coming Sunday. However, the teaser trailer has dropped and, um, yeah, it's it's not looking good for him. Kevin, Kevin Federline is trash, guys. Absolute trash. And does he actually admit to abandoning Britney Spears? Yeah, happy to take her money for all these years. Oh, guys, this is absolutely insane. And I'm going to break it all down for you in a moment. Before I do so, though, a little bit of housekeeping. Firstly, YouTube human reviewer, I see you lurking. I'm not going to say any trigger words or anything that's going to offend your ear holes. And to everyone else awesome enough to have clicked on this video, hi, welcome, how are you doing? If you love news and pop culture stories on the daily served with a little bit of sass and gobbiness, which is basically this, right? Do make sure you subscribe like share comment all of that good stuff and so let's jump into this shall we so uh the teaser uh from the upcoming episode this whole 60 minute australia interview with kevin federline is going to air this coming sunday the 4th of september and he has pretty much said that he didn't get involved uh in britney spears's attempts to end the uh conservatorship because he was focused on raising his sons. Yeah, guys, he was raising the sons. But guess what? It meant he couldn't help Britney get out of the conservatorship. How raising the two sons actually stopped him from helping Britney to become free? Uh, I don't know. That's a little bit of a mystery to me. I'm like, you freaking what? But he was so, so happy to take the money. Oh, yeah, so happy to take the money. But to actually help her? Oh, no, 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 no. Kevin Federline, opinion conspiracy theory, whatever, is trash and a totally abandoned Britney Spears. Let's uh, look at a few more details. So he's previously said that uh, Sean and Jaden hadn't actually attended Britney Spears' wedding with Sam Ascari because... It was partly to do with the semi nega 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 uh, photos that she posted on Instagram. Okay. So I can kind of understand to a certain extent that the sons in a way are going to feel a certain type of way seeing the mum online on Instagram with those kind of pictures. I can see that. Fair play. To say, though, that that's one of the, let's say, main reasons why the sons aren't seeing Britney and why the sons didn't go to the wedding, I'm calling BS on that one. That don't make sense. That doesn't make sense. To me, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, someone's in their ear pulling some strings. I, I swear. I, seriously, right? Because it'd be like, well, hang on a minute. She's Britney Spears, right? They will have known, you know, her videos uh, in the past. The videos during the conservatorship were risque and everything else in between. So they will have grown up with all of that, with their mother being Britney Spears. And so you're going to turn around and tell me that her Instagram photos of her body and this, that and the other seriously affected the boys to the point where that's one of the main reasons they don't want to see their mum. Something's wrong with this picture, right? And it, do it doesn't make sense to me. It just doesn't make sense to me. But we continue. Federline has said uh, that he felt absolutely mortified for Britney uh, after she was placed under conservatorship for a person and her estate for 13 years. Yeah, completely mortified, but did naff all about it. Like, did not get up from his fat, bleeding backside to help Britney Spears out of that hellhole that she was forced into. Oh, but again, happy to take her money. Happy to take her money indeed. Um, he says, uh, the boys, the boys, the boys. I had to worry about them. Uh, I couldn't get involved. 
couldn't get involved. Kevin Federline, opinion conspiracy theory, whatever, was totally involved with the conservatorship. How could he have not been when he was predominantly the main guardian for those children, the main parent that was having Sean and Jaden for most of the time? Because at one point, it was not 50-50 custody. It wasn't at all. And for him to say that he couldn't get involved at all? Well, if you have a look at this, this um, is from at Brittany the Stan on Twitter. And she, uh, she or he, uh, tweeted this uh, back on the 8th of August. This is an agreement between uh, Kevin Federline and the conservatorship, i.e. Jamie Spears, right? This was done during the circus tour or just before, right? Check this out. We understand and agree that it's in the best interest of the children that they accompany the initial leg and that a safe and comfortable family environment be created for the children during the initial leg. Um, it says, you know, they'll have their own first class tour bus, customised in a way to make it safe, interactive living and play space for the children. They'll also be accompanied by their nanny and current security. Uh, Big Jamie will continue to provide supervision for the children at any time that you're unavailable to do so. Oh, but guess what? Remember this. Uh, Kevin Federline couldn't get involved in the conservatorship. Oh, no, 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 no. However... Kevin Federline, you will receive the following as full and complete compensation for your services. Uh, a sum equal to $10,000 per week for each and every week of the initial leg, including any periods of time when you are not with the tar during the initial leg. A bonus at the sole discretion of Big Jamie of a sum of up to $50,000 payable, if at all, at the expiration of the initial leg. Yeah, the boys, the boys, the boys. I couldn't get involved in the conservatorship. Oh, no, 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 no. However, when it came to the dollar, 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 dollar bills, dude got involved. Dude got involved. He is a walking contradiction pile of freaking trash. Trash. Um... Now, um, Federline's attorney, Mark Vincent Kaplan, who, let's remind ourselves, has a very interesting past, let's put it that way, uh, said in regards to um, the wedding of Britney Spears and Sam Ascari, although the boys will not be in attendance, Kevin and the boys are happy for Britney and wish her and Sam all the best going forward. Ah, uh, 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 but um, he then says um, that he was affected by seeing Britney's struggles against a conservatorship. I was mortified for her. I really was, he said, adding, I still feel bad. No, 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 no. You can feel bad all you want, but in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, he should feel ashamed feel guilty for being a part of the conservatorship. Absolutely. And I'm saying he's a part of the conservatorship, in my opinion, conspiracy theory or whatever, because as we've just seen, he got paid for services by the conservatorship. Lucratively, it was beneficial for him. $10,000 a week, $50,000 potential bonus payment at the end. Come on, come on. Oh, I was mortified for her. I still feel really bad. Quite clearly not enough to actually then help her. What? What? And then uh, providing a little bit of a summary of the marriage, he says it was amazing until it wasn't. Like, why? Why, why is he speaking out now? Why? I'll tell you why. Because in a couple of years' time, those kids are going to age out. And he, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, this is my opinion, whatever, his money's going to run out. Because he ain't going to get the child support anymore. 
So now what does he need to do? Well, you know, he needs to get paid another way. He needs to start thinking up another source of income. And guess what? Dude is selling himself to the highest freaking bidder with this trash of a story. This is absolutely insane. Not only is he throwing Britney Spears under the bus, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, but he's totally throwing the kids under the bus as well. The kids were, sta was, were staying out of it. They had their lives. It was private. You know, no one said anything about those children publicly. And to be fair, damn right. Damn right. They were fiercely protective over those children, as they should be. But he's like, you know, you know, trying to make out that he's the good dad. You know, he had to look after the boys. He couldn't get involved, blah, blah, blah. Well, he was involved. He's still involved now, in my opinion, conspiracy theory or whatever. And caring about the boys by talking about them publicly. Really? You care about them that much that you're going to talk about them publicly? Are you shizzing me? It's like now they're open for public discourse in the media. And they're still children. They're still teenagers. You are opening them up to this world. Are you freaking insane? What the deuce? Guys, I'm absolutely incensed with Kevin Federline. He is totally trash. And in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, completely admits abandoning Britney Spears. But I believe he takes the money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you know, I had to look after the boys. You know, I was mortified. But, I, you know, I could see her struggling. Well, help her then. Help her. Instead of turning the other way, uh, ignoring it because, you know, money talks louder. What? What? Financial vampires. Leeches. Oh, justice for Britney. I swear, justice for Britney can't come soon enough. My faith in Rose and God remains. He has a plan and he's going to take every single one of these muffles down. Oh, guys, Rose and God is coming for all you. You are going to have to answer to what you did to Britney for all those years. Oh, karma. Might take its time, but it will come for every single one of them. I totally believe that. Guys, Enough with my gobby run uh, for today. It's now time for your gobs to sound off in the comments down below. What do you think to Kevin Federline? Do you agree with what I said? Do you disagree with what I said? Any and all comments? Completely welcome. And if you love this video and love news and pop culture stories on the daily served with a little bit of sass and gobbiness, which is basically all of this, do make sure you click on that subscribe button, like, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until the next time, you guys. Laters.